let's uh, check in with Henry. <laughs> so it is the new billiards. Uh, I was doing so great while Jan was talking. Jan, if you talked a little less, you would have seen me be brilliant. Oh, so Henry, up, I'm sorry. It is the it is the new billiards, ladies and gentlemen. Table tennis is hot. They used to call it ping pong. Now they call it a great sport. We're going to meet one of the champion, one of the world champions. That is a world champion over there in the nine-year-old and uh, under category. And we're going to find out about why, whoops, why, why ping pong has grown up and gotten even younger. That's coming up. Good luck, Henry. <laughs> Let's go yeah. ahead and take a live look outside. This time... Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we used to call it ping pong, but these days it has become a full-blown hot sport. Table tennis, of course, has been a big deal all over the world, uh, especially in Asia and parts of Europe. Uh, but here in the Bay Area, it has become very popular among young folks, uh, boys and girls. We happen to have all boys with us here today from the Alameda Table Tennis Club. They actually have a clubhouse in the old Boys and Girls Club, uh, which is located in Alameda. Uh, we have with us the coach, Avi Schmidt. He's the guy that's feeding the balls there. Uh, and then among the boys that are playing is uh, coming up next. It's going to be Kevin Lee. Uh, and Kevin is the U.S. Open boys nine and under champion. I mean, for the whole country, he is the <laughs> champion for nine and under. So let's talk a little to let's talk a little to the coach Avi Schmidt. Time out. Ta! <laughs> Those hurt. No, they don't. <laughs> so uh, why don't you guys go ahead and play some doubles, and I'm going to talk to Avi. Okay. Um, so uh, first of all, yeah, they'll play some doubles here. Uh, so, just for starters, uh, what's going on with table tennis? It does seem to have become popular here in the Bay Area. I, I never heard of table tennis clubs before. So, what's up with that? Well, in the last few years, uh, we started a lot of uh, very good junior programs, and uh, we're having a lot of success. Uh, we have three girls from uh, the South Bay who are ranked in the top 30 in the world in cadets. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of interest, there's a lot of support from parents, and the sport is becoming popular, and uh, it's yeah. very exciting for us. Okay, so uh, actually, let me talk to Kevin here for a second. Kevin, uh, you guys go ahead and play. I just want to talk to Kevin here for a minute. So um, you uh, won the championship in the, in the nine and under. You're nine years old now, right? Yeah. Um, and how long have you been playing? You must have been playing for many, many years. Yeah, like I started playing competitively for like a year and a half, and I actually like played for like two years. And uh, so yes, that's many, many years. Uh, and what is it you think that makes your game so much stronger than the other kids your age? Um, well... Ah! <laughs> it's a dangerous sport, folks. <laughs> Can you think about what it is that makes you better? What is um, what is your secret? You just have to like focus on the what the coach is saying. Mm -hmm. Remember and then do it, and you can become a better player. Mm-hmm. Wow. And so you're gonna stay competitive and hope that you can go right through till your adulthood, I guess. Eh? Yeah. Gonna be a professional, do you think? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so um, we're going to do just a little lesson here. I mean, I, I feel like I know how to play table tennis um, or ping pong. But by the way, guys, uh, let's, uh, Avi, uh, why don't you come on over here. And Kevin, you go over there, and uh, I want to just hit the ball with you a little bit. Can I borrow a, can I borrow a paddle? Thank you. Um, so quick, quick lesson here. Um, no, Dean wants to take my, no, I'm keeping my microphone. Uh, I can do this with the microphone. So just for starters, holding it, like shaking hands. Yeah, you, you want to hold the paddle in front of you, mm -hmm. hold it very relaxed, keep your finger in the corner, keep your thumb in the, co in the side. Mm -hmm. and, keep it relaxed. Uh, yeah, and for you, this is a very fast paddle. Make sure when you hit the ball, you cover the ball down a little bit, because it will okay. tend to go up. You're so not go ahead and show me, kind of can you show me, uh, would you go like ahead and hit? Go ahead and hit one. Let me see what you mean by. Can you hit a little slower? <laughs> How about slower? There you go. Is that really playing, or is that just? Um... This is just showing up. With yeah. You. Okay. So let me give it a try. The idea being that you. The idea being that you are pointing at where you. Oh! <laughs> Did you see? I caught that corner. Wow, and you still hit it back. Darn it. Um, so I got a question for you guys. Could you um, hold the mic for these guys? 
Do you guys call it ping pong or table tennis? Uh, we call this sport table tennis because we play it competitively, and ping pong is more of the recreational sport. Mm -hmm. So this is not recreational for you. This is all business. Yeah, we compete in the world, and like we travel all across places to like LA and Las Vegas just to play tournaments. Wow. And why uh, why play table tennis and not like basketball? It's like a touch sport. It's like graceful, and then you're, it's very like fast. So you have to have quick reflexes. Okay. So I think they've seen enough. They've seen enough of me playing. Uh, why don't you go ahead and do that, some more of that drill because it is really cool to watch. Do some more drill. And uh, I'm going to tell folks that the Alameda Table Tennis Club happens to be located, I know this is a shock, in Alameda. Uh, <laughs> and for more information, you can go to their website. Uh, it's easy to find. Just uh, Google uh, Alameda Table Tennis and you'll find it. But it happens to be alamedattc.org. Great for kids. Great for older folks, too. And, and by the way, a lot of girls are really doing Doing well at this sport so although we have all boys it's an equal opportunity sport okay coming up on cron 4 news weekend we're going to take you uh, into somebody's garden we're going to show you why owls can be your best friend in the garden coming up cron 4 news weekend listen up people volkswagen is at it again with